In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your sequence settings for your video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so here's our sequence in Premiere Pro. So to change the sequence settings, what we need to do is go from here, sequence, settings, and then we can see our sequence settings here, okay? Now you have a load of preset sequence settings that you can choose from, okay? So f just to match your camera, I like to use the Aerie Cinema just because they're like the best cameras in the business. <laughs> um, now here you can change the frame rate. So I currently have it at 25 frames per second as that's what I shoot at mainly. Uh, you can change it from, you can go from 23.976, which is what in the United States, for example, in NTSC regions that they shoot at for more cinematic look rather than 25 frames. Or you can shoot at 24, 29, 30, whatever you, you want to choose. You can choose it from here, okay? Now here we have the video settings. So video frame size, like currently this is at 720p as because this actual interview that I shot with Damian Meyer shot on my phone in the front facing camera. So that was shot at 720p resolution, but I wanna move this to the HD resolution. So I'm gonna change this from 1280 to 720 to 1920 by 1080, okay? So now it's giving me that HD resolution, okay? Now you've got all these different parameters that you can also change, square pixels, you can uh, change the field, uh, the display, the, the format display, again, 25 frames per second is a time code, audio settings, sample rate, I have it 4800 hertz, you can change that here on the drop down menu. Okay, change it to whatever you require. Audio, um, this is the display format. So you've got audio samples or milliseconds, whatever you choose. You've got your video preview here, your codec, your width and your height. Now, as I see it here, this is, this is how I want it. So you don't necessarily need to change all these different parameters, but you can change that here, okay? You press OK, and now you're, you'll now change that sequence settings. It will say, okay, the changes to the preview form file format. Then I just say, okay. And now it's changed the resolution of my timeline. So my timeline settings have now been changed, okay? So that's matching the rest of the clips on this timeline, which was shot at HD. Okay, so this seminar was shot at HD, all the other footage was shot at HD. It was just the um, interview that was shot on my front facing camera that was shot at 720p. So just to correct this, so it matches with the timeline, what we do is select the clip, right click, and then go to scale to frame size. So now it's upscaled this particular footage to match the frame size of the entire timeline. So it's now matching. And again, if you've got 4K footage and you wanna downscale that to 1080p, you can do it by doing exactly the same thing. So you just right click on the clips, you can scale it to frame size, and then you can now have your 4K footage on your 1080p timeline. Check out this video on how to change your image size in Adobe Premiere Pro, or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis, helping you tell your story through video. Peace.